welcome back to my channel today we are talking about five reasons why you shouldn't study sociology now i also have another video up on my channel which is about 10 reasons you should study sociology and i also have a blog post in the link in the description which will go more in depth into the reason why you should and shouldn't study sociology but if you're debating whether you should or shouldn't study sociology at uni hopefully this video will help you decide on that number one reason why you shouldn't study sociology is if you think it's going to be an easy subject I know many people who took sociology at A level who just thought it was going to be an easy like A star, an easy A, but unfortunately it's not like that. Every single subject is challenging in its own way and especially for sociology you're going to be surprised and shocked at the amount of critical analysis and depth of thinking that you're going to be required to do. And if you're not interested in sociology, frankly, you're not going to enjoy it. Reason number two is if you don't like writing essays. Now, like I mentioned in my previous video, which is 10 reasons why you should study sociology, you will know that sociology is a pretty essay based subject. And for me, I love this. I'm fine with this. I like coursework. I prefer it to exams. So if you're more of an exams person, I suggest that you might look at other degrees. Obviously, this shouldn't be a deal breaker, but it is an added bonus or something that you should keep in mind when you're thinking about whether you should study sociology or not. Reason number three is that it's often rated and people say it's the most unemployable degree. Now, if you're worried about this, I would suggest go and look at my video on 10 reasons why you should study sociology so you can get a more holistic view of this because people often just say, oh, it's unemployable, oh, it's not a real degree, and then just stop right there. Literally just look at the comments on my day in my life video. There are so many benefits to your career when you study sociology and often I feel like this boils down to two things. One, what you think the point of your degree is and two, whether you enjoy sociology or not or how much you enjoy it. If you think the purpose of a degree is solely to get a job and solely to make like loads of money then I don't know maybe sociology isn't for you. I'm not saying that you can't earn a lot of money when you're studying sociology. It's because if you go into the mindset of thinking this is unemployable then this is going to have a knock-on effect on your effort, your energy, the focus and the time you're going to put into your degree. But if you truly love sociology like I do then your job and career prospects will align easily with your values once you finish university or when you're finding internships or placements. Number four, don't study sociology if you don't want to know what's really going on in the world. Honestly, before I started studying sociology, I was naive, I was blind, I was, I was oblivious to what was happening in the world. Once I started studying sociology at A level, I realised how the world really works in terms of society, politics, you know, race, uh, crime. It made me realise that the world isn't just made up of interpersonal um, relationships and interactions, but rather actually on a structural level, there is a whole structure, there is a whole system going on. Sometimes it does make me quite depressed and make me want to like bury my head in the sand and forget all of the injustices that are going on in the world. But I feel like now that I study sociology, I kind of have a duty and I want to make the world a better place. And like I said in my previous video, sociology really equips you to make a positive impact. So if you want a positive impact, I suggest you study sociology. Reason number five to not study sociology is if you're happy living in your own little bubble and you don't want to know what's going on outside of the world. This is kind of leading off of my last point. And when you're studying sociology, it's impossible not to reflect on your own situation, on your own life. For example, in my module, Sociology of Death, we are required to write weekly essays and our lecturer really encourages us to reflect and be reflective on our own experiences and how this contributes to our understanding of the world. And of course, when you're studying sociology alongside students from all over the country and the world, you'll realise how much of a bubble we've been living in, just like I did. My advice is to only study sociology if you're genuinely interested in it because if you don't, you're not going to enjoy it. But if you have any further questions or comments, um, let me know in the comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. But other than that, check the link in the description for my blog post on reasons why you should and shouldn't study sociology. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.